networking. Today we're talking about be the change you wish to see in your kids. Be the change you wish to see in your kids. So this is a really big topic to me because I absolutely love Mahatma Gandhi um, quote, be the change you wish to see in the world. I've lived by this. Oh, let me try this again. Unable to go live. Seems like you're already live streaming. Oh, okay. So it's telling me I cannot. Okay, so I will just keep talking here. Oh, someone sees me live. Okay, let me open the chat. So be the change you wish to see in your kids. Let me try again. I'm Tanya Milano, parent coach. Um, I have a group reacted to relax, self-care without the guilt. If you're not in there, please jump in there. This is all the stuff that I needed to do when I was not being the parent that I wanted to be, the gentle parent I wanted to be, the conscious parent I wanted to be. Um, there was a lot coming up on how the heck do we do this parenting thing when no one taught us how to do it. So I support moms there with their self-regulation <clears throat> so that they can be present with their kids. Also, I have a YouTube channel. If you're not over there yet, you go over to YouTube and search Tanya Milano Parent Coach. Subscribe to my channel. There's lots more videos over there um, so you can catch up on things over there and hit the bell because then you can get notified when I add new videos because I do add new, new videos all the time. And yeah, let's get started. So if you have comments, put them in the chat and then I can get to your comments too today. Okay. So in the Facebook group right now, there's a 90 day challenge. It's there anytime you want to do it. I really go through all of the mindfulness embodiment practices that I had to do to stay present with my children. So we are on um, week two or three, I believe. We Last week we were doing um, smiling. So I want my kids to smile. Like smile more at people, be friendly. That's something I value. So how was I going to do that in my life? If I wasn't feeling good, I wasn't feeling happy. I was, uh, lots of things were affecting me. How can I just smile when I feel like it's forced? And then my kids aren't smiling. Then I start judging that in them. Like, I want kids that are friendly, that smile at people, that are happy. So there's a practice there. How can we build more smiling into our life? There's a daily practice. There's all different ways to do that. And when we as parents smile more, lo and behold, we have children that smile more. So you've got to start thinking about how are you building that into your day? How are you building that into your life? Um, also, in Home in the Home Revolution, if you're not in my program yet, message me about it because these are the lessons, like this program has the lessons on how to build more joy into your family, how to build more connection, how to build more happiness. Because in order to have smiling, happy children, we need to build connection. We need to build playfulness. Um, so I have coursework in there. And then we, we actually meet every week. We just got off the call. And we meet once a week and talk about parenting struggles. So message me if you want more information. I'm taking founding members. It's like founding rate. It's so you get in like, like lifetime access. So let's chat about it. Okay. The other thing is I wanted to talk about as a parent, I found gratitude to be a really high value for me. I wanted my kids to be grateful. Okay. So I'm going into parenthood. Like my kids are going to be grateful. Right. And, um, so how was I going to make that a practice in my life? 
if I want kids that are grateful, I had to look at the places in my life where I was being grateful. So thanks, Jordan. Thanks for watching. Um, so gratitude practice is a big part of my 90 day challenge. It's a whole week of it. Where are you going to build in gratitude? And then in Om and the Home Revolution, I have lessons on what are some things that might work for your family? Because what works for your family might not work for another family. So how do we build what works for our own family? We got bombarded with all kinds of books, social media, news articles, blogs. I tried lots of different things that worked for other people's families. So if you want to be able to coach through what's going to work for your family, message me about my program. I would love to have you in there. So gratitude practice, some of the things that are in my 90 day challenge in the group. You need to be grateful for yourself. If you don't have a gratitude practice for yourself, it's going to be very hard to raise grateful children. It really starts with being grateful for how you treat yourself, what you do for yourself, how you show up for yourself. And that's one of the practices for my 90 day challenge is to put yourself on your gratitude list every day. How are you? being grateful for yourself. What are you going to do for yourself today? Um, and then you will have children that actually show up for themselves. And when you have capacity to show up your, for yourself, you can then be grateful for all the other things in your life. You appreciate everything in your life. Um, okay. And then what else did I want to say? I think that's it for today. Um, yeah, there's one more thing. If you're really struggling with mental health or um, you're just really feeling like there's no way I'm going to smile at myself. There's no way I love myself right now. There is no way you're going to get me to start a gratitude practice. There's like I'm just feeling miserable. I'm feeling stuck. I don't know what's happening with my body. Um, it's I'm anxious all the time. I can't add one more thing to my life. I just need to get through the day. I need my kids to get through the day. If you're feeling this way, you are in overwhelm. And that's why I made a course for it. Reclaim your body, transform your mind. Right now, I'm doing live coaching. So not only do you get the course, like you can do the course self-guided, I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one coaching to go with it. For February and March, we can book them. So if you are someone that doesn't think you can get through a self-guided transformation, now's the time to buy the course because I'm going to book live sessions with you so that we can meet your goals, not someone else's goals, in the areas of um, mindfulness and breathing techniques, kind of self-awareness, self-love and forgiveness, sleep and relaxation, and um, others oh, two more. There's also creativity and purpose. If you're feeling like, I just don't know what I want to be doing. I have no interests right now other than surviving the day with my kids. And the last thing is we go through coping strategies. So maybe there's some unhealthy coping strategies you want to work through. That's where coaching comes into play. And I, I, everything's confidential. So you can work through these goals. These are your goals. I'm just there to support your goals. So um the price for that course is going to go up. Obviously, right now, it's the self-guided course. It's $97. It's going to go up because that one-on-one -on -one coaching is going to be included. So let me know if you're interested in joining. Um, I would love to have you. And your kids really need you to put yourself first so that they have your full 
potential as a mom. That's, that's all they want is your presence and your authentic being. So let's get you there. I will see you on Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And I hope you have a good evening. Bye for now.